How's it going, everybody? It is Edison T. Crux, and we are back to this. I just had to jam out, because I, love, I love how that music starts right up. And we are doing this whole heart gold nuzlocke and thing again, and I guess I have a particular appreciation for the music, because I was just back from the Pokemon Symphony the other day in Nashville, and oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. If you have not, you have to. You've got to go there. You've got to see it. You've got to experience it. I firmly believe every single Pokemon fan, if, you've, if it's been a part of your life in any way, make it out to one of these symphonies, because it's amazing. Okay, so we need to do some thinking, because I want to catch me another Pokemon in... What do you got? Because I need to find something to catch a Pokemon in the uh, Sprout Tower or whatever. What do you got for tax? Water gun. Might, yeah, that's actually probably going to be my best bet. Because you guys probably all have normal type attacks, don't you? Because if you notice, it's nighttime, which means that I can catch me a ghastly in the sprout. I actually waited to make sure to record this tonight. Oh, you could use foresight, right? Yeah, that could, that could be a thing. That's an option. And you're a little lower level, so that actually might be a good bet. So I'm going to open with nut. Since nuts already out front. Um, I waited until nighttime to do this. Um, it's Pokemon School. I don't need no. I don't need school. It's the gym. Uh uh. Not ready for that. How am I doing on Pokeballs? I got Pokeballs. I'm good. I'm set. Ready to rock and roll. Oh, but what about things like. I better check how I'm doing on things like. Um, Potions, antidote, one pair. Okay, I'm okay on that stuff then. I'm good. I'm good. So go find the Sprout Tower. I think it, is it up here? I don't know where exactly it's at. But yeah, if I went during the day, all there is that I could have done if I did this during the day is a Rattata, which I've already got a Rattata. I've gotten him kill him over there. So, oh look at that. It looks cool. It's awesome. A bell sprout over a hundred feet tall. People say that it became the middle pillar here. I love the lore in Gold and Silver Generation. Like Johto lore is really cool. They just it hits a good feel. Listen to that music. You can hear like that sounds like that pillar moving. See the pillar shaking? People are training upstairs. Oh boy. Sprout Tower was built long ago as a place for Pokemon training. Oh, sweet. I better use it for that, then. Only those who reach the top will receive a wonderful move. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. So let's... I'm more concerned about catching me a Pokemon. I love that noise. You hear that? That... It sounds like... Like some kind of wood thing kind of stretching and swaying. That's really cool. Alright. We got an encounter to take care of here. It's a female Ghastly! Alright! Female Ghastly, level 4. Very cool. Let's use Foresight, which will let me attack it with normal type attacks, even though it's a ghost. Oh, this is great. Lick! I and Lick won't affect me! Oh, that's perfect, actually. That's perfect. So let's tackle this thing. Okay. That did a fair amount of damage. Probably would be okay doing one more, but let's try throw a Pokeball at it now. If I can avoid cutting it that close, I would love to. Nice! Didn't even have to risk it. Didn't even have to chance it. Alright. Very cool. Ghastly's data was added to the Pokedex. Let's check out this data. With its gas-like body, it can sneak into any place it desires. However, it can be blown away by wind. Oh, that's really cool. That's a cool description there. Neat. Give a nickname? Yeah, I'm gonna give it a nickname. And oh, I just realized I've, I haven't got my setup all the way back in order after the symphony. I don't have my little cheat sheet of name ideas set up. So hang tight one second. I'm gonna get that because I actually had something in mind for Ghastly. So one moment, okay? Okie dokie. So I do have a interesting name for this Ghastly. Um, so people have given some suggestions before, but I actually found one that is nice and obscure, and it's using a pantheon that I haven't really touched upon much. Now mind you, I'm going to guarantee you something right now. I am going to pronounce this wrong. I absolutely positively guarantee I'm going to pronounce it wrong, because it's Aztec, and they have some funky names. So I guarantee you I'm pronouncing this wrong, but 
the goddess I'm looking for is is a butchered version of the pronunciation is Mictacatl. I, that's not all gonna fit, I'm sure. Um, but it's the Aztec chief goddess of death, queen of Mictlan, underworld, or lady of the dead. So, I'm gonna try and just do a shortened version of, of that. Let's see. It's normally a very long, very long name. I'm gonna have to probably even think of some kind of nick, like, a nickname for my nickname of how to say this. You know what? How about Mikteka? It's major because it's supposed to be Mikteka he hodle. Look it up. Um, Aztec got death goddess. But I think Mikteka is a good shortened, shortened version of it. It's easy enough that I can actually manage to say it. So Mikteka! Mikteka, we got another team member! Let's go head back to the Pokemon Center before pressing forward. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Mikteka! Very cool. Very cool. So let's heal her up and check it out. So exciting. So exciting. It's a very fun name theme. And you know, you got some that are like really common. Like Gaia, that's at most everyone's heard of of Gaia at one point or another, but then you've got these really obscure ones, like, not a lot of Aztec gods really get seen very often. So you got, you got kind of the whole, whole arrangement here. So let's take a look what we're dealing with. We have got Miktak, Mikteka. Level four, ghastly. Very cool. Oh, um, it's naive. <laughs> Likes to relax. I love it. I love it. Hypnosis and Lick. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. And Lick is physical, so it's not the greatest, but you know, we'll get there. Very cool! So, looking at our team now, we're gonna wanna do a little bit of training up. Probably gonna be some switch training, all that, all that good jazz. Now, okay, another thing that was pointed out is I wanna talk about root. 46. That's one back this way, back away that I miss. And some people pointed that out to me that, hey, you know, hey, yo, dude, you missed a root. You missed a root. Root and toot and good time. And I looked into it to find where it was and such. Um, and I actually think I'm going to pass on that root for now. Reason being is there's only, there's only one Pokemon that I could catch there that's not a dupe, and that's Spearow. Which, I mean, okay, that's cool. But I mean, I've got a full team right now, I don't have to go there. And I think if you get like Headbutt, like Headbutt Trees or something, or maybe it was Rocks, I don't know. Later you can do something and get a different selection of Pokemon. So, I'm actually not really wanting to do that too much right now. I don't really, I'd kind of rather save that encounter for later when I could get something else. I mean, a Spearow's nice and all, like, I'm all for a Spearow. But I've got a Hoodoo, so I've got a Flying type. It's not really necessary. So, for the moment, um, I'm actually going to hold off on that encounter. I always reserve the right to go back if I need. And let's train up. Uh, let's train up Nut a little bit. So, we're going to do a little switch training here. Um, get some people leveled up a little bit before we take on that. Yeah, that would have. That would have. Um,. Train up a little bit before we tackle. Get it? Tackle? Because I just see tackle. Get it? It was a pun. Uh, before we tackle the Sprout Tower. Get a couple more levels going under us, because I want Sprout Tower to help prepare us for Falconer. Which is going to be very good. I think that guy is going to be a very valuable member of the team against Falconer. But we got some levels to go here. So I'm going to do a little bit off camera time. Um, training these folks up, and I will see you folks in a couple minutes, okay? Alrighty, so we got a little bit of training done. Um, we got Gaia up a couple levels here, and I think I did a little training between Ninkillum and Nut. I don't think I haven't actually leveled up yet. Honestly, I don't want to do too much because I'm actually really looking forward to doing some training in the... Sprout Tower. 
um, which I think is going to be really, really cool. I think it's going to be a great place, not obviously for Gaia to level up, but some of these other folks will be pretty well equipped to gain some levels in there. So, I think that's what we're going to do. How are, you, how are you feeling about that idea, Ninkillum? Ninkillum is looking down steadily. Okay, then. So, you know, for now I can turn my little auto-running shoes on. I'm going to make sure that I'm equipped on potions and such. And I might, I'm kind of low level for this. I mean, like, there's a lot of kind of weak bell sprout in there. So I might pop out again to heal. How's my money? I, I should be okay. I've got some potions, which will help. I've got some uh, antidotes. So I think I'll be okay. You know? Like I say, there might be some running in and out to heal. But I think this is as good a place as any to train. And then probably after this episode, I'm going to schedule a off-camera training time. Or where I'll actually do it as a live stream, because that's really fun. I did that before with uh, Fire Red a little bit, and it was really fun. So let's, let's take some of these folks on. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. It's like that old saying about, um, about how, you know... Bamboo is stronger than oak, you know, because it's, it's not rigid, it, it bends, it's flexible. Bellsprout Tower. Bellsprout. Bellsprout. Alright, then kill him! Then kill him! You know what I think you should do? I think you should kill him! Whoa, that got stuck. That, that escalated quickly. At least knock him out. Of course, this is a Nuzlocke, so I don't know if that applies to the other trainers, if their Pokemon die. I mean, that, gosh, that's a dark twist in this. I'm just going around killing all these Pokemon. That's brutal! I feel, almost feel bad about that, then. Yeah, look at that. Look at that! See, since these Bellsprout are all level 3, and they're trainers, I get some good experience. I just might have to, you know, heal a little bit in between, but that's okay. We're cool with that. We're all friends here. I, I have a little edit button I can use to, to edit out if I run back and, you know, back and forth. That's all good. It's all good. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Getting some experience in there. A lot of experience, in fact. Bellsprout. And I think since you're getting a little on the weak side and kill him, let's give another McTekka. McTekka's kind of low level. I might do some switch training for her. And not really anything good to attack with. So let's do Nut. I think McTekka is just going to take... Um, Switch training, the old-fashioned, slow, boring way. Which, again, I plan on doing as a live stream. So, um, if you're watching this, like, the day it came up, follow me on Twitter, at Edison T. Crux. That's how to find me, at Edison T. Crux. And that's where I announce any, like, schedule plans and such. So it's really good to follow me on there. Uh, particularly for live streams, that's where I do announcements on my live stream schedules because it changes it's I don't have like every day or every week at certain times it kind of adjusts a little bit so follow me on there and you should get an idea of what we're dealing with okay do I want to hmm. do I want to run back now or just switch Let's go just a little further, and then I'll probably end up running back. Oh, it's a Pokeball. Sweet. I got a Perilous Heal. Perilous. Perilous Heal. Oh, hi. Hi, guy. We stand guard in this tower. Here we express our gratitude to Pokemon. Er, our gratitude to show our respect for all Pokemon. See, he's one of those people who learned that uh, gratitude, giving gratitude, practicing that, is one of the one of the key ways to happiness. One of the best recipes for real life happiness. And that's a true story. All you in need of a happiness boost, just give gratitude, man. That's the way to do it. Like this guy, he's giving gratitude. Bang. Okay. So I'm either gonna heal and then kill him, or switch. I think I think I'd rather not waste um, waste potions now because it's not like I have a ton of spending cash at this point. So I think I'm gonna switch. 
I love the music in this game so far. Like, I, I, I think a lot of that has to do with having just come back from the symphony. The music is, like, on my attention now. Like, before I'm just like, eh, whatever, I don't really care about the music. Now I'm like, oh man, I can just imagine it in a symphonic thing. Like, it's it's a beautiful thing. See, I gotta actually switch. Because Nut can take a hit from these things. No sweat. No sweat. So I'm gonna do a little switch out kind of thing. Yeah, seriously, go to the Pokemon Symphony. Like, wow. It's worth it, I guarantee it. It is worth it. Absolutely worth it. And like, there's cosplayers, like there's Team Rocket folks there, like it was, it was a blast, man. It was an absolute blast. It's not like a crazy formal kind of event, though. Oh, nice, critical hit. Critical hit. Another bell strike. Yeah, let's keep doing this. Because I think then kill him is a good choice for just an all-around, I mean, you know, normal type, nice and neutral, right? Um, decent attack so far, and plus she's got, or he, sorry, has got stab on normal type attacks, which is really nice. Really nice since that's mostly what we've got at this point. So, I think he's going to be nice against both the Sprout Tower and the Gym will be helpful. Gaia, however, will do great against Falkner, not so much against all these Bell Sprouts. That Vine Whip will kind of hurt uh, a little bit a lot. <laughs> oh, nice. He comes level 7 now. See? It was worth that. Focus Energy. Nice. Nice. Sage Chow. Thank you. See? Even, even when he loses, he's giving gratitude. I like that. You're a respectable dude, Chow. Oh, I got... Poke get Joey? Good evening, Zeus. That guy's a kid. Who says good evening if you're a kid? It's me, Joey. I, were you awake? Oh yeah, I saw a wild hoodoo. I thought about going for it, but then I failed, because I'm a failure. Oh well, I guess that's just the way it goes. I'm not very good at catching Pokemon. Click. That was like a prank call right there. Alright, whatever. Alright, I'm gonna switch... And kill him out of the front just in case some wild Zubat appear or something. Because, yeah, and Nancy is not going to be the most helpful yet. Not in the immediate future. Not while dealing with Falconer. I mean, she'd probably be okay for um, these guys, but I don't think she has any good bug-type moves yet, though, so maybe not. I don't know. Point is, I think right now my focus is going to be on... Um... Nut... And then kill him. And then for the Sprout Tower time. The Sprout Tower area of, of things. I think they're going to be my, my primary people for this. Which is going to be good. Be real good. Maybe McTekka. Maybe I'll switch. Do some switch training with McTekka in there. So she can get some, some quick and easy levels. Because now... Gosh, I was going to cut out walking back to the Pokemon Center, wasn't I? Man. Rip off. Alright, yeah, let's try that. Let's try... Switch train McDecca a little. Because they're the other two are now getting high enough that they can handle a hit or two. Handle a hit or two. Alright. Here we go. Sprout Tower, me baby. Sprout Tower, me baby! Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's sprout this tower. We're going to sprout a whole tower. Alright. I love having this little ghastly falling down. That's like just the coolest thing. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. It's another ghastly. And it's a higher level ghastly. Let's run? Out of way safe. I guess it would have been bad if I couldn't run, but. I love it. How do you feel about this place, McTekka? What do you feel? This is where we caught you. He's concerned about the swaying pillar. Why are you concerned? I mean, you're from here. This is where we caught you, so you should be okay with it. Maybe there's something more devious afoot, and maybe she knows about it. I don't know. Alright. Oh, it's football. <laughs> the little location sign covered that. X accuracy. Alright. I never use those X items, like, ever. Whoops. 
ghostly, ghostly. Oh, and I was mistaken. It's, Grass is not the only Pokemon I could have caught here. I think it's Bellsprout's the other one you could catch. So, I mean, theoretically, I could have caught a Bellsprout, but I really prefer Ghastly. That's why I wanted to come back here at night instead of do this during the day. Um, I sway like leaves in the wind. These guys are all sagely. I love it. I love it. Um, but, um, I, I really like Ghastly. I love Ghost-type Pokemon. Like, I mean, that shouldn't really surprise anybody who knows me that I like Ghost-type Pokemon best. Because I think they are my favorite type, actually. I love ghost types. I just do. They're awesome. You know? I mean, I obviously have an inclination towards the more ghostly type things. And let's just tackle. Let's just tackle. Let's just do it. Just do it! Just do it! Alright. If only you were just a touch stronger than kill him. Oh, there we go. There we go. So these guys still hurt just a bit. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Another Bellsprout. Yeah, let's switch out for McTekka. And do this. Let's do this. Bellsprout! Can't wait until you get a little stronger, McTekka. It'll be so good. Oh, so good. Alright, Nick. Ninkillum should be able to handle one more bell sprout. Then for that last one, probably have to do some do the old switcheroo. Um, nice, because he's getting a little on the a little on the peckish side here. Oh no, that's not good. Maybe sooner than I thought. Okay, that's that's. That's too close for comfort, ladies and gentlemen. That, that is outside of Edison's comfort zone, right there. That's way outside my comfort zone. I'll probably use a Vine Whip. Nut should be able to take it. Yeah! Yeah! Put him down! Yeah! Take out that Sprout! Yeah! I eat Sprouts like you for dinner! Yeah! Hey, McTekka still leveled up! You can split the experience further. I can learn Spite! Ooh! Spite! I gotta remember what Spite does. Sprout. Yes, let's switch. Give Mateka a little bit. another boost of experience. So Mateka could come in handy. You know? Look into Spite later. I have to look into some Spite, because I'm a spiteful kind of guy. Err. <laughs> Oh man, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. Heart gold. Man, this this is I'm really jazzing with this this Nuzlocke so far. Like I can't speak for you guys, but I'm loving it. And I'm excited for when I get a bit further. I gotta get like at least like two gym badges in before these Pokemon really have personality. And then I wanna start a storyline of this. Whoa, wouldn't that be cool? Right? Yeah, Sage Edmund. Oh, I'm weak. You just that ass way quickly. You were all sagely, and then you're just like, I'm weak. All right, so real quick, let me see. Focus energy. I want to double check. Focus energy. I'm pretty sure is the one that makes us so get critical hits more often, right? Yeah, critical hit ratio. And yes, spite. What is spite? Loses its grudge on the move, or the user loses, loses its grudge on the move, last used by the, f oh. Loses its grudge on the move, last used by, oh, cutting for, oh, that's kind of janky. Here yeah, I was hoping for something worthwhile, oh well. Yeah, well. Beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Alright, so I'm gonna, now I am actually gonna cut out, I'm gonna run back Pokemon Center, heal, and then resume this whole song and dance. Alrighty, so I lied a little bit. I didn't just go straight back to the Pokemon Center and back here. I um, fought, there was a wild Ghastly. I slipped and bumped into you and passed right through me because it's a ghost. Um, I fought a wild Ghastly with McTekka alone, just licking it. That's not a gross. Just licking it. Um, <laughs> and it gave her another level. So that was the thing that I did. Don't block the stairs, don't block the stairs. Alright, you didn't block the stairs. I trained to find enlightenment in Pokemon. Alrighty. So we're getting up there. 
These guys are getting a bit stronger. Sage Jin. Ooh, that's a high level bell sprout. That's a strong one. Alright. So let's go straight for Nut. Let's go for Nut. Fine with Ah. Very cool. Nut's a perfect choice for this. I might even try Hypnosis you. Just that way, you know. Have that good old strategy of put you to sleep, then I don't have to worry about you hurting me as much. All that good stuff. That's a really good... I like that strategy. I think I'm actually going to have to run into that from the other side before too long, which is going to be a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying. But this works, you know? As long as I'm fast here. Oh, just barely hanging in there. Just barely. Hanging in there by the edge of your roots, huh? Oh, I just uprooted that guy. Alright. Tekka, level 7. There we go. See, we're getting there for sure. Man, I, that special attack is so great. If only you had a special attack to use. If only you learned something special yet. This little squirt sure made me hurt. <laughs> little squirt. Oh. Huh. Wade? Hang tight, Wade. Uh, hang tight, I got a phone call, guys. Good evening, Zeus. It's me, Wade. Were you awake? Yeah, I'm battling. I found all kinds of berries. If you want, I'll share some with you. I'll be raiding on Route 31. Click. I don't really need berries right now. I'm busy. I'm busy Pokemoning, okay? Alright, so are we okay after that? Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Oh, hi. The Elder's TM lights even pitch black darkness. Aw, oh, I just get Flash? That's it? Yeah, that's janky. That's janky. I don't want Flash. That's jank. Ain't nobody got time for Flash. McTekka, I think you are gonna be amazing once you actually know a decent move or two. Until then, I... I don't have too high hopes, to be honest. To be honest. I think you're kind of, with Lick, you're kind of janky, sorry, but it's true. I speak the truth. I think Nut is really what's, now that these guys are getting a little bit stronger, I think Nut, Oh, sad day, you missed. Whoa, okay, that's a problem. Let's try this one more time. Okay, this is a problem. Okay, that's a big problem. Okay, okay. This is when we potion. That was far too close for comfort, thank you very much. Far too close for comfort. Gotta stop these crits, man. Gotta stop with them crits. Gotta stop hypnosis missing. There we go. Okay. Let's try this again the right way, okay? Okay. Sounds good, yeah. Sounds good, yeah. Let's tackle it. Just, just go through it this way, man. Just go through it this way. Come on, almost there. Still sleeping. Got nothing to worry about. Oh, it's, it survived. How did it just barely survive? That's brutal. What? No! Stop it! Stop it! There's no reason that should have happened. There's no reason for that. No reason. Inexcusable behavior! Alright, here we go. Tech is level 8. Nice! Oh, that special attack, though. Let's learn me look. Okay, that's something. That's something. Getting some moves. I don't think it's quite what I'm hoping for yet, but you know. Heck! Yeah, I'm gonna learn Peck! Heck yes, flying type move? Um, uh, yeah! I'm gonna get rid of Growl, because I never use things like Growl. It's just... kinda how it goes. Yeah, oh, that's gonna make it into this last Bell Sprout. Like, way easier. Way easier. It is... it is my head that hurts. Got some more money... Alright. 
Now, I think this guy, I think he's got a hooty hoot. So this could be, I think, wow, McTekka's level 8! That really escalated quickly. I think then I might still switch train... Mm, no, let's open with Nut, because these guys are getting kind of strong. I'd rather just take care of business, you know what I mean? Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. Although this should actually be a whole lot easier now that I've got Peck. Because that should just tear through the spell sprout. Yeah, it's level 7, so I mean it's, it's high level, but I bet you Peck is going to tear through it. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's so much better. That's so much better. Yeah, baby. Heck, bomb. I think I saw my rival up there, so I'm gonna definitely want to be on my A game before I take that on. Hoot hoot. It's got a hoot hoot. You know, I'm gonna hoot hoot against hoot hoot here. All right. Hoot hoot on hoot hoot action. I'm gonna hypnosis you before you can hypnosis me, because I don't want to play that way. I don't want to be asleep, that's your job, you gotta be asleep. And that tech won't really help me here, but tackle will. Let's tackle through this thing. Yeah. What? Oh, that's jank. Okay, I guess that kind of evens out. <laughs> I guess that balances a little bit here. Let's, I'm gonna try just tackle again. I don't think putting him to sleep is quite worth it at the moment. Yeah, if you're growling, that was the right choice. Right choice. Attack fell. I mean, that's a little bit tight, but... Oh, how are you still alive? Oh, I've got insomnia? I've got insomnia! I don't gotta worry about no who who putting me to sleep. I got insomnia! Oh, yeah! Well... Alrighty then, Sage Troy, you are down. Yes, your trust is real! The trust is real! Alright, so, okay, that's my rival. Who the heck did he start with? It's been so long since I was gone for a couple days, I forgot. Who did he start with? It was... If I started with Poseidon, did he start with... Was it Chikorita? Or I think he started with Chikorita. Yeah. Okay, so he's got a Chikorita up in there. And Nancy, do you got anything that can rip through that Chikorita? Well, of course, I got Peck now. So if you're... What does Meet Scary Face do again? Because I think... Frightened so reduces speed. Oh yeah, and no, you got mean look, which does what? How becomes unable to flee. Ah, oh, that's lame. Lame sauce. You got a whole bunch of lame sauce moves. I'm sorry, but it's true. Okay. I think nut, I think you're still the one who could do this. I hope so. Do I wanna run back and heal? I don't even know if I have to fight him right this moment. Alright, you know what? I might end up regretting this, but I'm gonna be at full steam. It's like only, what, 8 hit points, but I want I want to be on full steam in case it's... Because I'm not 100% sure if you have to fight him right now, or if you don't. Ah! Um, excuse me, I'm in the middle of something here. Excuse me, Ghastly, I'm in the middle of something here. Mind your own time, okay? Excuse me, princess. Alright. Let's do this. You showed us what you've got, and it is indeed good. Take this technical machine. However, you should care more about your Pokémon. The way you treat your Pokémon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokémon are not tools of war. Hmm. Hmm. He calls himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how you should be nice to Pokémon, they cannot defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokemon that win every time. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. It's Hades! Hades used an escape rope! Alright, bye Hades! I'm just gonna call him that because I just imagine that really ticks him off being called Hades. An escape rope! What a quinkity! Alright, so I don't have to battle him right now. Cool. Very cool. So... I should be... Wait, is it like level 10 or something crazy like that? I think it is like some kind of crazy thing like that. 
All right, how much of a chance do I feel like taking? I feel like taking one. Let's do this. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. Oh boy, here we go! Here we go, baby! It's happening! Elderly. Elderly. Level 7 Bellsprout. Should drop like a warm knife through butter. I mean, not quite, but pretty close. Growth. Alright, I can handle your growth. I can handle your growth! Yeah. Yeah! Alright, Nut, you are proving your worth here. This is awesome. Level 10. Alright, I can live with that. Gotta use Hoot Hoot! Uh-uh, not switching. Level 10. Alright, 10 versus 10. But I think I've got Insomnia if I saw right, so... I'm gonna try and put that thing... Oh, it has Insomnia too. Okay, okay! Insomnia on Insomnia. Um, that, that's a thing, but I, I can live with this. Okay, didn't do much. And your hypnosis is not gonna hurt me. We're not gonna, it's, it was never gonna hurt me, but Peck. Okay, Peck might actually be a better bet for me to use too. Let's try it, because I forget that um, flying is not weak to more flying. Okay, that hurts. I could either potion or switch. So I could switch and Poseidon could probably take this thing down. I'll try that. I bet Poseidon could handle that. Then I split the experience a little bit more, and I don't necessarily have to use a potion. I still don't know which is better, Water Gun or Scratch in this case, because... Poseidon's got such low special attack, but we'll go for this. Oh, okay, good. It missed. That's awesome. Let's try Scratch this time. Nice! Awesome! Alright, Hoot Hoot down! Repeat! Hoot Hoot down! Nice! And out of Bellsprout. Um... Poseidon is ill-equipped to handle a Bellsprout. Let's try... Hmm. Alright, and then kill him? Try. See what you can do. I probably should have switched to Nut and Potioned, but let's give this a try. Let's do this. Yeah, quick attack. Growth. Okay. Let's just keep handling this. Let's keep handling this. Okay, this is good, because Growth um, raises special attack, but Vine Whip shouldn't be special, it should be physical, so I should be fine. Should be just fine. I hope. I really hope. Okay. That hurts a little, but not too bad. We should be in good shape to finish this off. Alright, I think that's him. I think he's all done. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at all that experience. Nice. Well, that helped. That escalated quickly. Defeated Elder Lee. Ah, oh, excellent. Oh, that's a lot of money. I can buy some potions with that. The way you battle is quite elegant. You should be able to stand up to Falconer. I hope so. And you should be able to make good use of this. It's a technical machine called Flash. Take it with you. TM70. Flash. Yay, I love TM Flash. You can illuminate caves no matter how dark they may be. You can try it on Bellsprout, for example. All right. What ifs? So, we did it! Now let's see, do I wanna... So, that's probably where I'm gonna call it in an episode for now then. So, we defeated the Bell Sprout Tower. Is it Bell Tower? I don't know. We defeated this place with the Bell Sprouts and the things and the stuff. And, yeah, our Pokemans... I made some progress here, check it out. We gotta go heal them up. We got some good levels. Now, I'm gonna do some... Um, a training round before Falconer, and I'm going to probably do it the same day this video is going up. So if you want in on it, um, look on my Twitter, 
at Edison T. Crux to see when I'm training. And that's where I'll be announcing future uh, training sessions. So it probably won't be super long, so check it out. And then we're going to do this, and probably next time we're going to be Falconering. Falconer! Falcor! Oh, I mean Falconer! So until then, catch you later, everybody. I will see you on that training stream if, uh, if you're able to. Catch you later.